Hey guys, my name is Koshik and welcome back to LedCode. In our previous video, we have discussed how to get the attribute based X path and also to find whether the uh, ID or the name or the class name is unique in our DOM, right? So once I do right click and click on get X path, here in the console we can we are able to get the unique ID value, right? So it has unique ID value which is full name and similarly we are able to also get the x path that is this coin right so using the placeholder attributes we are able to get the x path so that's absolutely fine when i do the right click and click on this get x path this text area or the text input i mean the tag and if i go to my console and here you can see we are able to get the x path only for this using the h1 tag and the class so if i'm going to copy this and paste it here so of course we are able to get but most of the time we do not use this uh, class maybe uh, it is purely based on the user or the test case scenario or the applications sometimes we want to write this x path using text as well right so of course it's going to be based on the application and it is user preferences but as a developer i have to give all the options to the users i should not judge like this is the best that user have to use rather i will give you all the options to the users and whatever the user feels comfort or best for their applications they can use it right so today we are going to build how to i mean today we are going to learn how to build text based x path so let us try to write this first manually so here i can just copy this text value and here i can say double slash tag name that is h1 and within the square bracket i have to use the text node and then followed by within single quotes i have to give the value now, if this is going to give us one of one, of course, this X path is unique in our DOM, right? So we are going to do the same concept, but in terms of coding in our extension, right? So this is our previously written um, code. So nothing has changed. Only only thing I added is this comments, few comments I have added and rest of the things are just as it is, as we are learning in our extension, right? Of course, you can check the source code anytime, so that's not a big deal. Now, today we are going to write this X path for the text based. So that's need so many of um, conditions to check, but to make it very simple, I'm just going to create only one method, and that is going to uh, check this X path here. So based on this this text node, right? So as it, this has a lot of weightage, I'm going to create a new file here so that it will be very easy for us to maintain. So here I will say text xpath.js, right? Yes. Now here we are going to create a function and here I will say get text xpath. And within the parameter, I have to pass this element, right? So from wherever we call this method, we want to access the element, the selected element, right? Now. Let's see how to do that first here. So um, if I go to the console or the source tab and here, so it is able to view our source port. So I'm just going to add a breakpoint here, maybe uh, in this particular place here, and I'm going to right click and click on get X path. So it is going to stop here. The reason here is, so we are going to do this first in the DOM, then probably we'll uh, do that in the code, right? Now here in this target element, I have this particular element. So right click and select evaluate selected text in the console. So it is going to give us this thing here. So let me bring it up here. And here we are going to say target element, not this. So target element dot text content is the method or the function that is going to return us the text that is present in this particular, uh, not in this, so in, in any of the node, right? So here we can see that. Similarly, if I'm going to uh, let's do for this, so right click and get X path, and here also it stopped in the debug point here. So right, so here I'm going to again give the same, and here you can see that it is again giving us this confirm that text is disabled, and here also we have the same. So the text content is the function that is going to return us. Actually, this is not a function. I think this is a property, right? So here we can check that. So type of then for by target element. Um, dot text content so actually okay so the return whatever it is going to return us that is going to be string but the type here it's actually this property not a function right that's okay now let us go back to our eclipse 
and I mean the VS code and here we are going to get the element dot first we have to retrieve the tag name as well right because this might be in h1 and this might be in spam or label or div, anything right so we have to know the tag name as well so here I'm going to say tag name and if you remember tag name always gives us in the upper case but in next path we almost uh, every time we write in the lower case right so here I'm going to say to lower case and that's it so let me store this in a variable so here I can say tag name equal to right and after that we want to get the text node right so here I'm just going to copy this I mean the text content so here I can say element dot text content so let me just paste it yeah and here I'm going to say let text so we are storing what are the value we are going to get from here we are just storing this in this particular local variable right and after that of course we have to build the pattern so let's say that let pattern equal to and here I'm just going to use this back text I have to give the double slash first and then followed by using this uh, dollar symbol yes so I can use this tag name right so first we have to give the tag name then followed by within the square bracket I have to give the text node so text node actually is a function in the x path right and here I have to say equals to and within single quotes I have to pass the value so that is going to be this text here right so here again using those uh, curly braces and the dollar I am going to say text right that's it so let us try to log this first so we are going to log this and here we are going to say this as pattern so not pattern so it should be pattern just a variable name so that's will work for sure anyway but yeah so I'm going to um, click over here and refresh and if I go and refresh and let me disable this um, this debugger point right and here if I go to my console and if I right click and get xpath so here now we are able to get two xpath right so not two xpath actually we are getting only one uh, so we are getting the attribute based xpath not the text base uh, the reason is very simple so we didn't call it anywhere right so I have to copy this function and within this right so here we are able to uh, call this add or add add all xpath attributes so that is going to find the unique id the unique name and class name and then followed by this also uh, finding the attribute based xpath right so after that we want to find the text um, method right so here i'm going to say get text base xpath that's it and this guy so it's in different file right so of course we have to add the file location in our manifest.json right so I'm just going to copy relative path and if I go to this manifest manifest.json and here I have to pass the value and of course it should be within double quotes so string and of course I have to change the slash as well right so that's it we are pretty much done so why we are doing this is actually because uh, to let the, to let the uh, chrome that Chrome extension that okay we are using these files and this file should be uh, taken from this location and this are going to act as a content script so that is the reason we have to declare this within the JS or else it is not going to work so let me go here and refresh our extension and then refresh our page and right click and click on get text path and if I go to the console and here it says that we have some error let's see what is that so if I go to here it says that uh, okay, so it doesn't understand what is the element because we didn't pass that right so if I go to this content Here we are only here. We are calling only the method not the elements so of course I have to pass that so this that's going to be my target element here So that we stored in this global level, right? Now if I go back and refresh and hopefully this time it should work So right click and get X path and if I go to the console Wow, so we are able to get this right so let me just copy and go to my element and paste here yeah it's working fine now let me try with some other thing so right click get x path and here we are able to get this as well right so it's giving one of one that means of course our extension is working and we have again got another new x path pattern in our extension right 
So let me just check in some another site maybe. So here I can go to this Internet Heroku app and let me click right click and get X path and if I go to my console and here you can see we are able to get this so let me just go and check okay fine so it's working nothing wrong let me click on this and get X path and if I go to my console and if I click on this and here okay so we are going to get the X path of course that's fine but here the challenge is it is inside the A tag of course, that is going to work in the X path. Thing wrong about it, but we know that if something is within the A tag and the value is one of one, means I can directly use this in the link text. Why I should go with the X path, right? So we have a link text locator. So using that, I can simply write driver dot find element by link text, and then I can pass this particular value, right? So that is also going to work for sure. So at this point, we no need to write the X path. But we are going to see that uh, how to do this. So that is why I uh, said that uh, in text based X path, we have so many conditions. So it's, we have different patterns, right? We can use the contains, we can use the normalize and others, right? So we will see that maybe in the upcoming videos as of now, I think this is pretty much enough. So I'm just going to uh, add this to our X path, right? So the array, so X path data dot push. And within this, I'm going to say this is going to be my text based and then comma, then followed by the value. So that is going to be my pattern, right? So that's it. That's it. We are done. Now I'm just going to disable this lock or oh, let me delete this completely. And here, if I go and refresh and refresh and add to this one, and here we are able to get this thing in now this, right? So in the array, we are able to get this, right? So we are going to continue this continues this series maybe for uh, another few videos. So I'm just going to give you the overall, not the overall. So I'm going to give you the basic like how we can generate all the X path. Um, if possible, I will try to explain you more in detail. But uh, I'm planning to release this very soon. So I might I might start working. So um, you can check the source code always. So you know if this is open source. So of course you can check the source code always. Um, I think that's pretty much enough for this video. We will learn about more detail about the text based X path maybe in the upcoming videos. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. If you like the video, consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Tada, bye bye.